Holby City star Mark Morahan teams up with Nikki Campbell, better known as TV and radio presenter for Watchdog and Radio 5 Live, to produce Mark's new swing album, Moonlight's Back in Style. Mark and Nikki met on the BBC celebrity singing competition, Just the Two of Us. Whilst Nikki wrote most of the songs for the album, Mark performs them. Mark's band performed an exclusive gig on the 12th of June at Raglan Music Festival 2009. Unfortunately, Mark is in a play at the moment and was unable to attend. However, we managed to catch up with Nicky as he is bravely filling in for Mark. So how did the band get together and, and how did you choose in the style of music? Well, I love this style of music. When I, I met Mark on the celebrity singing competition, just the two of us, and okay. we, uh, we sort of gelled and we both adore this, this style of music, the classic style of songs. And I said, well, let's, let's get together and write some new ones. So on the album, I wrote um, uh, 12 of the songs we co-wrote two songs and um, uh, we're very, very pleased with the results. I yeah, know, I've listened got, to a couple of clips mm. and his voice, it's fantastic, it's so sort of rich and smooth. Oh yeah, I wish he was singing tonight, that's the problem. <laughs> Instead it's you. <laughs> yes, that's right. So you also play yeah, the piano. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, play piano, yeah. Where did this musical talent come from? I mean... Well, I, I've always sort of, I taught myself piano when I, was, when I was growing up. We had a family heirloom with a piano in the room, so when I, in my bedroom, so I taught myself from an early age. Then when I learned the guitar, I worked out the chords. And so self-taught, fantastic. Yeah. So is this a bit of a childhood dream then, you know, being in a band or childhood part dream, of a band? Teenage dream. Dream from my 20s, dream from my 30s, dream from my 40s, yeah. It's a great, I, I, I can't believe it's happening, yeah. And but also playing my songs, you know. Yeah, must be a real sense of achievement. Yeah, I, I love it. And also um, the fact that they've been recorded and they're, they're such fantastic musicians. Um, and we've got a record deal from, from Lynn Records. So the whole thing has been, what well, is that dreadful talent show thing, an incredible journey. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I mean, going back to the fact that obviously you're more known for more serious presenting in journalism. I mean, this is a huge turnaround, is it? Yeah, but I mean, writing songs is an interesting, it's a challenging process. And it's about words, and about music, and it's about structure. And it's, um, you know, it's not a mug's game. Yeah. And, and um, I, I find it, more of a challenge uh, and more satisfying than interviewing the Prime Minister, definitely. Is it perhaps your next career move? Are you going to quit presenting or is this just if some, a... If, you know, if, if, if Tony Bennett chooses to record uh, half a dozen of my songs, you shall find me languishing by a swimming pool in Barbados, no doubt about it. But, you know, realistically, that's something I just love to carry, if I'm lucky enough to carry on doing as well yeah. as, as everything else. I mean, I love doing it. So who are the artists that have been most inspirational to you then? I love all, you know, Frank and Dean and Sammy and all that stuff and those great songs, the British singers as well. It's that era of stuff. I'm a massive Beatles fan. I was a massive punk fan, like uh, opera. Can we perhaps uh, see a bit uh, of a more 60s style music coming through? Or? No, not really, so loads of stuff really, loads of different yeah. stuff, yeah. Okay, so I mean obviously the, the album's going to be released this mm. September, so have you got a tour planned? Yeah, we're doing some, look, we're doing, I think Mark's going to tour, but we're doing some dates in, when we launch it in September. Um, and then um, I think Mark will, Mark will tour with it because it's his album. Okay. I'm just the writer. Guest performance included Stephen Sprout, the ukulele king as named by friend Nicky Campbell. Fantastic performance tonight. How did you think it went, Stephen? Well, it's nice of you to say that. Um, I felt it went good. Yeah, you yeah. seem to be enjoying it. The crowd I was kind it. of enjoying it and sort of relaxing into it as you do. Um, great crowd. And a lovely venue as well, actually. Definitely, yeah. fantastic. So, how do you know Nicky Campbell then? Because obviously, he's yeah, tonight as well. Yes, that's there. right. Yeah, the main man, of course. Um, well, what happened was I actually read an article that Nicky had taken up the ukulele, yes. and uh, with me being a player and um, I've written some books, I thought I'll just be cheeky and I'll send him one of my books, and um, which is a bit cheeky, really, because I was assuming he was a beginner and he might not have been, of course. But I sent him one of my beginner books, and he uh, kindly sort of wrote back and said, "Oh, by the way, I, I write songs too," and uh, he, he sent me a couple of songs and said. What do you think of these? And I thought, gosh, Nicky Campbell's asking me what I think of his songs, and I was blown away. After the festival organisers approached Nicky to open the show, Nicky was delighted to accept. Nicky plays with Stephen Sprout, who is a fantastic ukulele player. Stephen and I were having dinner one day, and very cheekily I asked him when he was talking about the festival um, and the album, would Nicky mind coming and premiering? I expected the answer to be no, but Nicky phoned me the next day and said, yes, wow. absolutely fantastic, I'd love to do it. 
This small close-knit community welcomed Vicky and were all too glad to have him opening the festival. Oh, that's really good. I don't listen to that kind of music at all, really, yeah. and seeing it performed, I think, just when it's done well. Great. This is Jess Kindy reporting.